What is up guys? Today we have the Harley Davidson X440 with us. Harley provided this bike to us today for a Sunday morning spin. And after riding this motorcycle, I wanted to share my initial impressions with you. In this video, what we'll be talking about are some of the main questions that everyone right now has in their mind, especially considering the two motorcycles that have come out in the market right now, the Triumph Speed 400 and the Harley Davidson X440. We have about 10 questions that we'll be addressing straight away. If you want to watch a video that has all the specs, you can watch all the videos that are out there on social media platforms. Here, we are just going to talk about some specific questions and answers that will help you make the buying decision. So let us first talk about the pricing. The Harley Davidson X440 is available in three models, denim, the Vivid and the S model. These models start with an ex-showroom price of 2.29 lakh and each model has a price increase of 20,000 rupees with the range topping at the S model which has all the bells and whistles that Harley Davidson has to offer. Now let us get into the questions that every potential buyer who wants to buy a motorcycle right now in the market would have on their mind especially considering the competition which is the Triumph Speed 400. When you look at the spec sheets of both these motorcycles, there seems to be a huge difference, especially when you look at the BHP figures. The Harley has 27 BHP, while the Speed 400 has 39.5 BHP. The normal Indian psyche would convince most buyers to go with a motorcycle which has maximum BHP and hence they would prefer the Speed 400. But the truth lies in the fact that both these motorcycles are very different in their character. In the Speed 400, the max torque comes in at 6500 RPM while on the Harley, 90% of the torque that is delivered in the Harley is available right from 2000 RPM. That is a major difference because while riding a motorcycle, you reach the 6500 RPM, I would say just 10 to 15% of the times while you are riding the motorcycle on any particular day. That is a range which you normally hit when you are nearing the top speed of the motorcycle. But what makes the Harley X440 much more usable is the fact that 90% of the torque that this motorcycle produces starts being available as low as 2000 RPM to give you things in comparison, most of the motorcycles ideal at an RPM of around 1200 or 1400 RPM. And to get 90% of the torque at 2000 RPM, it means that you have all the torque available while you are riding in city traffic. You don't have to shift through gears very often and it will almost feel like a hassle-free experience while riding in stop go traffic. After talking about the torque, it is only natural to talk about how this motorcycle feels while riding. As you saw from the torque figures and how it is delivered, both the motorcycles, the Speed 400 and the Harley are very different. While I was about to pull my leg over this motorcycle, I was thinking this is a single cylinder motorcycle. It might have some vibrations. I should keep my expectations low. But when I started riding this motorcycle, within 15 minutes, I realized that this is something magical that Harley and Hero Motocorp have spun together. This is a motorcycle which is very different from your traditional single cylinder motorcycles. So I've just started to roll on the motorcycle and the first feeling that you get when you ride a motorcycle in the first 30 seconds or 15 seconds, that is what I'm going to share with you. This seems very smooth. There are no vibes at all. And while riding, one more thing that really elevated the whole ride experience was the beautiful thump on this motorcycle. This thump is a little different from what you would expect from a Royal Enfield motorcycle. This is a little sophisticated thump, a little smoother thump, less mechanical and feels more refined. And while riding the motorcycle, when you pull the throttle and try to get to higher speeds, the thump becomes more pronounced. The feeling that I was getting after riding this motorcycle for just 15 minutes was I was actually imagining myself riding this motorcycle in Ladakh and Spiti in those quiet valleys where you are riding alone and just enjoying the thump that this motorcycle would probably provide. Next up let us talk about this gap between the rear fender and the rear wheel. 
this has been talked about in multiple reviews and I also came with that bias in my mind that this would look very ugly. Yeah, this looks a little different, but when I got to know about why this gap was created, I totally understood the logic behind it because this is a motorcycle which is very pillion friendly. It has a wide pillion seat, very comfy pillion seat as well. I had sat on the motorcycle on the pillion seat and I was not experiencing any sort of limitation in, the, in terms of the room that I would have if I have to travel on this motorcycle as a pillion. And the bigger part is when you sit on this motorcycle and I swing my leg over this machine, put my weight on the motorcycle, the suspension compresses like for any motorcycle and that gap which is very visible when the motorcycle is unloaded completely vanishes. And if you sit on the pillion seat, that gap between the rear fender and the rear wheel will reduce even further and is actually not even visible. Now let us talk about one of the most important questions that everyone asks when a new motorcycle is launched in the Indian market. What is the mileage? Kitna deti hai? This motorcycle gives a mileage which is standard for the single cylinder motorcycles in this range. On my test ride today, it was giving a mileage of around 36 kilometers per liter. And at a conservative side as well, you can expect anything between 34 to 37 kilometers per liter on this motorcycle. So not much surprises here in terms of the mileage. You are going to get what you usually expect in this sort of a range of motorcycles. Another big question that everyone right now has, who's going to service this motorcycle? It's a product that has come out after the partnership between Hero and Harley. So who takes that responsibility? From what we have got to know, it will be serviced by Harley. It will also be serviced by a special set of Hero showrooms, some of which have already opened up in India and a lot of them are in the process of being opened up. What will be the service interval of this motorcycle? It will be a 10,000 km service interval and that would essentially mean that for 90% of the public, it would require only one service in an year. And last but not the least, what will be the cost of the service? We are looking at an approximate range of four to 5,000 rupees. To make sure that Harley inspires confidence amongst the buyers who would end up buying a Harley motorcycle in this specific range, they have introduced a class leading warranty clause as well. This motorcycle will come in with a warranty for five years. That is, I think, totally unheard of, especially in this segment of motorcycles. And that five-year warranty comes with a 75,000 kilometer cap. Now let us talk about the suspension on this Harley motorcycle. Harley motorcycles traditionally have been found not suitable for riding on Indian roads, simply because they didn't have enough ground clearance. And if they had the ground clearance, then the suspension was not tuned to handle Indian tough roads. For making this motorcycle suitable for Indian riding conditions, Harley has equipped this motorcycle with the KYB upside down forks at the front and gas shocks at the rear. This complete setup while riding feels very natural for Indian roads, very comfortable on mild potholes. Of course, you don't want to compare this with a proper adventure tourer or a off-roading motorcycle, but for 99% of Indian road conditions, for normal highway touring, for normal city commute, and some mild off-roading that is restricted to simpler trails, you can easily take this motorcycle on those sort of terrains. Talking about the tech on this motorcycle, the Harley-Davidson X440 is one of the few motorcycles that comes with an eSIM. With the use of the eSIM, you can get connected to the motorcycle through a dedicated Harley-Davidson app that you can install on the phone. That would mean that you can geofence this motorcycle, which means that if anybody is trying to steal your motorcycle or move the motorcycle beyond a particular area, you can set off an alarm or disable the motorcycle. Apart from that, this motorcycle also has an SOS switch which can be used to just do a one press operation and reach out to your emergency contacts that have been already designated through the mobile app. So all in all, these were the points that I wanted to cover in this short video for you guys. And if you are evaluating between the Triumph Speed 400 and this motorcycle, there is one recommendation that I would like to make to you upfront go and check out this motorcycle in person. 
the size, the proportions, the feel that this motorcycle provides is not done justice to through all the videos that you are seeing right now. So that is what I wanted to share. If you like this video, you know what to do. Stay subscribed to the 23 Rides channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.